No, this is not an unusual airlifter version of the Phantom F-4. On the contrary, this is a type of flying from which transport aircraft, other than helicopters, are usually excluded. But the flexibility that carrier-borne operations offer depends on regular resupply facilities being available, and available without the carrier having to move off station. Imagine the benefits, then, of being able to land a medium-sized transport aircraft on a carrier, and, of course, take it off again afterwards. In the 60s, they did a trial on the USS Forrestal to see if it was feasible to operate the Hercules from a carrier. Bear in mind that the Phantom, and most other regular shipborne aircraft, need steam catapults to get off and arrestor gear to stop them going off the end when they land. But the Hercules wasn't designed with any of that in mind, and so it had to be able to operate without either catapult or arrestor. First of all, they tried a touch and go. The two Navy pilots chosen for the trial, Lieutenant Commander Stovall and Lieutenant Flatley, had never flown a four-engined aircraft before. But they were able to make the first C-130 carrier landings after only a short period of training. They went on to complete 29 touch-and-go landings and 21 unarrested full-stop landings and unassisted takeoffs. During the trial, the aircraft's gross weight was gradually increased to 121,000 pounds, which allowed them to carry in 30,000 pounds of payload, more than 13 tonnes.